What's up YouTube? I'm currently at All In Skate Park in Zurich, Ontario. That's in Canada, if you need to know, by the way. But um, it's a few days after X Games and I currently like can't walk, barely, and I definitely can't ride. But um, I'm here chilling for about a week or so and hopefully by the end of it, I'll be able to ride. But as you may have seen at X Games, I took some heavy slams and even before that, I took a super heavy slam to my butt and it jacked up my back right now. So that's why I can't ride. But I have a special thing that I made today. Uh, it took me like three hours to make. I had to go to the hardware store to buy a bunch of stuff. But it is the lightest scooter deck I've ever felt in my life. And uh, I even got a few of the kids here to pick it up and they said the same thing. So um, I obviously can't tell you what the deck is. I mean, if you put two and two together, you'd figure it out. But I still can't announce what deck this is. But it is, it is the deck I've been riding for so long and uh, actually put a bunch of holes in it. So let's check it out. <laughs> So as you can see, I've gone to town drilling this out. This took like so damn long. As you can see, there's so many holes. If you can guess how many holes are in this scooter, and you're, oh my gosh, I just smashed it on my camera. But if you guess how many holes are in this scooter and you guess right, I'm gonna pin your comment. So make sure you go right now. Count how many holes there are, comment it. And if you're right, I'll pin your comment. You have to be first though. But yeah, as you see, this scooter has been drilled out a bunch and it is so damn light, like I can't even explain. Um, I even put it up against a pandemonium deck and that's actually, I think it's the lightest deck on the market, but this is definitely lighter. So I'm keen to make this into a full scooter and just see if it holds out and doesn't break, which I don't think it will because I made sure I, I didn't drill into the vertical bits of metal. So I'm hoping that it withstands a little bit of beating. Which I actually won't be uh, doing to it. I'm gonna have to let some of the scooter kids here to uh, test it out and we'll see if it holds up. But let's go have some dinner and then build up this scooter. Mmm. Hello. It smells tasty. Look at that. Your Chips and new bits. Hey, it's the owner of the skate park. The owner of the skate park. Derek's a champion. He's made the best skate park so far. Too bad I can't ride it right now, but Fingers crossed by the end of the week, I can try out this new rhythm section because it looks absolutely insane. All right, not only do I have the lightest scooter deck, but I'm also gonna go that extra mile on the scooter with the titanium bars. Woo! These are my titanium bars. They're actually all-ins titanium bars, as you can see right there, if it'll focus. As you can see, it's got the all-in logo. And then my favorite part of this is like up here, it says send it. Because you send it, right? But yeah, so the scooter's gonna be ridiculously light. There, we'll put that there. And we'll keep Adam parts. So we'll see what we end up with. Oh, I found a root air wheel. Probably like the lightest wheel ever, but I don't know how strong it is, but we don't care about strength right now. Gonna need two of these bad boys. Next up. Silth clamp. What? Silth clamp. Silth clamp? Yes. Nah, dude, no. I need SES. Oh. Okay. Got my handy dandy root fork. And then root clamp. Root fork and clamp's probably like the lightest SES I've rode with. And it's pretty reliable, so shout out to, to root and scooter hut. We're gonna take that wheel off, so don't worry about that wheel right now. Alrighty, next up we need the lightest deck ever. I mean, uh, deck brake, sorry, MGP, but this is way too heavy, boy. We just need that brake, and I got a spare. Here's the brake and the mess I made before. All right, here you go, here's the whole scooter, except for the axles, but we don't worry about that. Here it is before it's together. Now, let's get it together. All right, hopefully this works first try, but um, my back's jacked right now, so I'm just Basically, I'm going to build this scooter sitting down. It's time lapse it, boy. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Chillin'. Oh my gosh. What? This is insane. The lightest scooter ever. Alrighty, so I've completed the whole scooter now. I made some extra adjustments and I drilled some extra holes, believe it or not. But uh, it's all together right now. I put HIC instead of SES on because I heard that HIC is lighter. And I just wanted to go full crazy on this setup, and it's finally done. As you can see right here, we've got the tie bars, friggin' mini clamp. We've got 110 mil wheels now, and we got as many holes as we can get in the back ones. And this thing is so light. So I had an MGP deck, and an MGP deck alone, by itself, is actually heavier than this whole scooter. So that's how damn light it is, and I'm thinking of riding it in the skate park. I don't know if it's going to survive, but uh, you're going to have to stay tuned for the next video where we're going to try do some cool tricks on these. I'm going to try my best to ride. I'm going to do a few tricks, but we've got some other pros from MGP uh, here at All In Skate Park, and we're going to throw down. But stay tuned for the next video, drop them real soon, where we're going to test some tricks and see what this thing can do. But uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you smack that thumbs up button if you're keen to see us try like triple bries, name the tricks that we should do and we'll give them a go. But uh, make sure you go subscribe, turn on that bell and I'll see you in my next video where we ride this super light scooter.